Shri Askandar Mirza. Topic: The Guests. The Guests. Askandar Mirza. Good morning, Sir Charles Masters. After the recent G77 summit, oh, excuse me, before I forget, uh, Mr. Sergeant Ritras, can you please do me a favor? Will you ask someone to keep an eye on the helicopter as part of the After the recent G77 summit, all the guests gathered there started, all the world leaders gathered there started pestering me. Mr. Mirza, we are very tired and bored. We want to come to your house in Bangalore. We want to relax for a few days. One bad habit that I have cultivated over time is I cannot say no, especially to beautiful ladies. I gave in and I asked my pilot Armstrong to bring my hairbus. As we were getting ready to board the plane, one short, stout, bespectacled man came and stood in front of us. Mr. Mirza, you cannot take so many world leaders to your house without proper security. Now who are you? I am UN General Secretary Ban Ki-moon. Why tell it Ban Ki-moon? Why get lost? We all boarded the plane. Somewhere in the melee, someone stole KJV boss, monkey cap and muffler. Without fur and feathers, he was looking like a skinned out chicken. The plane landed in my house. My house has six airstrips, 24 helipads, <coughs> one port, one beach, two golf courses, four football fields, eight cricket stadiums, 24 swimming pools, one lake, one river, and many more things. Deep diving, snorkeling, you name it, it is there. All the guests were enjoying their stay in my house. <clears throat> but the Prime Minister of Nepal preferred standing at the gate. Shalam Shaiji. <laughs> in the evening that day, <clears throat> Sheikh Hasina of Bangladesh presented a dance item. My name Hasina, Hasina Kabudhapa. I'm, I'm not sexy for you, my tere hat nani. Next day morning, <clears throat> as we were sitting and chatting, one man in full military attire <coughs> and time. He introduced himself. I'm Rolf Castro from Cuba. I have brought the, he had a big case in his hand. He told I have brought the choice, choicest Havana cigars. Immediately Trump got up. He told, give it to me. Everyone looked at him with surprise. He told, gentlemen, don't mistake me. I'm not a smoker. It's not for me. I'll give it to Bill Clinton. He loves them a lot. He has lots of uses for them. This continued. <clears throat> and after that, our Trump was always busy playing rummy and looking out for the Trump cards. And uh, I also forgot to tell you, my house has also gardens, very big gardens. And now, the rose plants in the gardens are in full bloom. But this year the roses are only this big. Last year they were as big as this room. <laughs> anyway, uh, Fellows Masters, I have been talking to you, I think it's lunch time. My guest must be waiting for me. Especially Ivanka, she doesn't eat without me. <laughs> and uh, today, my chefs have made kebabs the size of coconut trees. So I have to go. Excuse me. 